it is your girl Mirandi and I'm back with another video and I have another message for you guys and I hope you guys have all been well and God is just doing a lot of wonderful and amazing things right now and I'm just so grateful and so thankful for the things that he's doing and I want to let you guys know something. This is for anyone who may have been praying about something, who may have fasted about something, who has been talking to God about something, who has been just wondering, you know, you have these questions and these things that you're asking God about and for and trying to get you know understanding on which way you should go and which path you should take and just trying to get more of a revelation more so than anything and god may have not answered you so it seems i did a message a while back saying and i'll try and link it um so that way you guys know or you can go back and you can watch it but we are in a season that is taking place where before you can even speak it before you can even you know think it if you're thinking in your head and you're about to ask god before you can even do these things it already happened it already came to pass and i did a message about that a while back and some of you may be going through that same exact thing where you may be asking God for certain things. You're praying to God for certain things. You're trying to get revelation about certain things. And he doesn't answer you. He doesn't answer you. And the reason why that has been taking place is because it's already finished. It is good. It is done. It is finished. God already knew what you were going to ask before you asked it. He already knew what you were going to think before you thought it. And so all you have to do is continue to have faith and to trust and believe and hope in him. And so no matter, again, you guys, what it looks like, what it feels like, just know that it's, it is good. It is done. It is finished. And so things may not look like in the physical you know what you have been praying about and you're trying to get more revelation more direction more understanding you're trying to you know figure these things out sometimes some things are not meant to figure out because God wants to surprise you he wants you to see how good he is how faithful he is how loving he is how kind he is it's kind of like I don't know about you guys, but um, this is just an example. So my daughter, she was like going to school and the other day and I had told her to make sure that she put all of her homework and everything in her backpack so she didn't forget. So she literally goes to school, forgets to put everything in her backpack. And luckily, I, you know, ended up needing to go to her school anyway to pick her up because we had some follow-up, you know, appointments with the doctor, such as that. And I was able to notice that she forgot her homework. And so, before she could even think it, <laughs> before she could even speak it, before she could even call me, before she could do anything I had already noticed it and I put her homework folder and her her planner in my bag to make sure that when I left to go pick her up for her appointment that she had her homework that she was able to turn in and so just like I was able to see from a different perspective and a higher standpoint because I'm the mom and so I'm doing all these different things and I'm cooking, I'm cleaning, I'm working, I'm making sure she has like her lunch packed and 
you know, she, she has her homework, she has her shoes, she has her outfit that she picked out for the day, she brushes her teeth, she washes her face, she cleans her ears, and all these different things. Um, she didn't even get a chance to even ask me before I had already recognized it, before I had already realized it, before I had already noticed it. And the same thing with you guys. God already noticed it. God already seen it. God already knew what was going to happen. And so, what did he do? He went before you. And he worked it out. He went before you. And he took care of it. He went before you. And you didn't even have to think about it. You didn't even have to worry about it. You didn't even have to ask him. Just like what I did with my daughter. Just like the same thing. So before she could even ask me, guess what? It was already done. It was good. It was finished. And just like you, with what Heavenly Father is doing in your life, it's already good. It's done. It's finished. So even if you may have not been thinking about it, or maybe you were thinking about it and you're panicking and you're, you know, worried about all these different things. God wants you to know, don't worry, he already took care of it. Don't worry about it. Trust in him and have faith. It's already good. It's done. It's finished. No matter what it looks like, no weapon formed against you shall prosper and any tongue that rises up against you shall be condemned. And so your father has your back. Your father is looking out for you. Your father is going before you. Your father is sending out angels to intercede for you in the spirit to make sure that certain things don't come to pass before you can even speak it, before you can even think it, before you can even do anything to wonder about it. It's already good. It's done. It's finished. So just trust in him, have faith, and just know that it's done. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to focus on it. All you have to do is live in the moment, trust in your father, thank him, and praise him in advance <laughs> for all that he's done and all that he continues to do. And just thank him for going before you. Thank him for sending angels out to intercede for you. Thank you for allowing you to be on the winning team to receive the victory through Christ, Heavenly Father. So nothing you have to worry about. You don't have to worry about anything. And so, I don't know who this message is for, but I pray this message blesses you. I love you guys. Be blessed and I'll be back with another video. Elohim willing. Bye guys.